Hello and welcome back to NorCal 715. Today I have this little Sony DVD player. It is a model DVP SR210P. And so I thought I'd just go over real quick. If you have one of these, it's a couple years old and it's skipping, it's not wanting to play, how to take this unit apart and clean it. Uh, service the optical pickup. So we'll start by just go ahead and taking off the cover. We're going to take off a couple screws back here. We'll pop off the top. Top is off. Certainly not much in this one, is there? A little power supply and all the DVD circuitry right here. So I have a disc in it. We'll take the disc out. So let's go ahead and pull the mechanism out of this unit. We'll start by unplugging all the cables that go to the DVD mechanism. They just pull out of the circuit board, just like that. Next, we'll remove the screws. Now the mechanism will lift out. One more ribbon cable that's stuck on here. Now the DVD mechanism is free of the unit. So now on some of these units, you can actually take the top off, but this one is a one-piece molded design, as you see right here. It's all one piece, and it can't be removed, so what we're going to have to do is remove the four screws and take the DVD mechanism out of the unit so we can access the optical pickup. The mechanism is free. So let's unsnap this cable assembly. Start by pressing down on the tab and sliding this backwards. Next, you can just gently lift the mechanism off of the rubber shock mounts. Now we can flip it over and then we can see the turntable motor. This is the sled motor, the sled assembly that allows the laser to slide forward and backwards to read the disc. And this is the optical pickup lens right here. Okay, so what I've got here is just a cotton swab and some regular old glass cleaner, nothing special. I'm just gonna spray the cotton swab a little bit just to moisten it. And then off camera, you can't see this, I'm gonna shake it off. So I've got my cotton swab ready. Now I'm just gonna wipe the CD DVD optical lens in a circular motion to remove any dust any debris that's on it and then I'm going to take the dry end do the same thing again and I'm rotating the q-tip at the same time the swab to dry it off completely next I'm going to remove these screws from the turntable motor there's two screws Got them out. So now I should be able to slide the uh, sled all the way back and pull the turntable motor completely out. And next I've got a little bottle of oil. Now this came out of my Zoom Spout oiler. I just filled this pinpoint oiler. It has a very fine needle tip to it. I'm going to go in here and apply Feed it until just a small drop comes out right here. I'm just going to put it on the motor shaft to lube the bushing. Once I've lubed up the bushing, I'm going to run it and move it in and out to make sure the oil seats down in the bushing a little bit. Next, I'll put the motor back in place. I've got my screw ready on my screwdriver. Tighten it up. There's no need to over torque this. So that's all ready to go. So with the same cotton swab I used to clean the optical pickup, I'm just going to wipe off these pads because this is what grabs the disc. And we'll give it a quick uh, turn. Use the dry end once again.
Let's go ahead and bring the sled mechanism back in. Now I'm going to flip this all back over. Line up the holes for the rubber bumpers, the little shock absorbers that they have. We'll put this cable mount up. We snap it back into place. There it is, back into place. Now let's go ahead and put the screws back in the uh, DVD mechanism. They're all tight. So let me really quickly show you how to clean the drive belt for the load tray, which is this belt right here. We'll go ahead and peel the belt off. So there is the drive belt. Now I've got a can of acetone. Now I've used acetone for 35 plus years on belts to clean them and I've never had an adverse effect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover this with a paper towel and just splash it onto it. You can see where the moistened portion is. So I'm gonna grab the belt and just very gently pull the belt through the acetone We'll do it a couple more times. I'm folding it over now. And you can see all the impurities it took off the belt. So if you have a belt that is slipping, a lot of times this will overcome that. Now if this doesn't overcome the slipping, then you will simply have to replace the belt. So there it is, the belt's all clean. There's what we got off of the belt. So now I'm going to have to push the belt back under. And attach it to the drive motor. That looks good. So let's go ahead and put the unit back together and see what we get. All right, so since I just cleaned the belt, the mechanism is open. I'm just going to close it. Now, to open and close this mechanism without power, you can open this up, slide this bar over, open the drawer, close it, slide this over all the way. It clamps the DVD mechanism up to the uh, magnet up here. So now we'll just go ahead and snap this back into place. Should be pretty easy to do. Sometimes you have to lift up on this guy right there. There it is, perfectly back in place. I'll put the two screws back in it. Next, we'll go ahead and plug in these two cables. This is the optical pickup cable right here. And it's just a matter of aligning it and gently pushing it into place. This cable controls the turntable motor, the sled motor, and the tray motor. This is the front panel connections right here. We'll just tuck that back into place where it came from. So it's into place under this little tab right here. So there's a close-up view of the power supply circuitry. Really not much to it. I don't see any bulge capacitors or anything. In fact, this unit has an AC input and a single DC output to the main board. And according to this, I don't know if you can see it under there, it's a five volt power supply. So there's a close up view of the uh, main board. It has one, board, one chip on the top. I don't know if it has chips on the bottom. And I'm not gonna pull the board out just to see, but I don't suspect that we have any problems with the power supply on this unit because it does power up successfully. It just didn't want to play the disc successfully. So next, I'm gonna turn on the AC supply, power the unit up, ask it to open, put a disc in it, close it, and we'll ask it to play and see what happens.
There we go, it read the menu fine. We'll ask it to play. All right, so there it is, it's playing. It's not skipping, everything's good. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video on how to clean your DVD player. If this video has helped you, please consider making a donation on my YouTube homepage with the PayPal donate button or at paypal.me slash NorCal715. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill and out of the recycle bin. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.